Legend of Total War here with part 4 of my Rome Total War Let's Play campaign as Numidia. Right, so previously we conquered Syracuse, Masana, Croton, Tarentum. We recaptured Siwa, but the Egyptians bribed Memphis. So obviously we lost that. Um, I'm going to send you up here. Good. There's no... Oh, what's that? What's that? Tender of the Royal Backside. Alright. Well, whatever. Is this guy faction leader? Yeah. We've also got a spy over here. So, I'm leaning towards going after Alexandria. We've also got this here. Uh, we can sell it again. Did I already do it this turn? Because if you leave the game and come back to it, you can you can sell it out as many times as you want. But, um... I'm not going to do that right now. Alright, let's construct whatever needs to be constructed. Some stuff over here. Go with the temples, because we need to maintain public order. Same with here. Also, we need to... Let's see, what can we recruit? Let's get rid of these. I don't like mercenary peltists. So, disband them in exchange for archers. And we'll retrain these, these guys. I wouldn't mind some of the, the heavy cavalry as as well, but I can only recruit one unit a turn. So, oh, hang on, hang on. That's okay. I was hoping to get some experience for them, but that's okay. All right, let's move on. What's this? Alright. Oh, I forgot to move my guys out of the way, but there was they weren't on the boats or anything. It's not a big deal. Okay, so they want Alliance Trade Rights Map Information. I'll accept that if they can give me, let's just say for 2,000. Good. Make a bit of money out of it and get an ally. Which, you know, we can't trust them, but still. Alright, this time I'm going to put both of my ships here. Because I want them coming home. Now, over here, I want to be recruiting more boats. Because I'll need a bit of a fleet if we want to go anywhere. And you, you really can't be going through the Mediterranean with one boat in this game. You can in Medieval 2. In Rome 1, you'll get caught by pirates or, or anything. And that could be a big disaster. Just thinking what we're going to do here. Alright, so I'm going to go further inland. If we take if we take Capua, I'm pretty sure that'll finish off the, uh, the Scipio Eye completely. There's some pretty heavy-duty resistance here, though. Although it's probably just mostly Hastati. Some Prinky Pays in there. Three generals. Well, we've got three generals as well. Let's get to it. Mighty General, Mighty General, my liege, my liege, onward! Mighty okay, General, take all of them. And then we're going to need to. Oops. Hmm. It should be able to maintain garrison. What do I want to do? Let me just see, if I was to send one of these guys over here... Okay, yeah, it keeps under control. That way, let's... Let's instead start recruiting these guys. That's just there to keep the population down, sort of artificially, for the time being. We'll eventually be able to maintain public order here. It's just... Not right now. Public order here is fine, actually. Let's increase the taxes as well. Uh, what we need here is population growth. And, you know, more money. We can make money from farming as opposed to sewers. This here really needs to grow.
It'll still be a while before that grows. And if you're here, what do we need? Need more population growth. Oh, so that army's moved away from it. They left us alone. Let's get another one of those. Alright, so I think the army moved up to here. So there's a possibility for a draw out battle here. Okay, first thing I want to do is push this aside. I don't want to attack him because this guy here. Wait. One of them has the plague. Oh, the, the fucker with the plague died. Alright, well, that's good. Um, well, hmm. Memphis is a large city, and Alexandria is probably a large city as well. A lot of, a lot of chariots in here. So, if this is where they're getting their cavalry from, so they're getting desert cavalry, and Nubian cavalry. Where do they get the chariots from? Egyptian chariots come from blacksmith, right? Because those those are the things that we have the most trouble against. What I'm tossing up between is that I could potentially... I could take Memphis. But it would be tricky. Because they have a tendency of running away. A lot of infantry in this, and this guy's just a captain. We, we, would, we would absolutely have to make sure that this motherfucker here dies. I have an idea. Um, Alright, let, let's do this. Just send him in. We'll give it a shot. Worst case scenario is we don't succeed in taking Memphis. In which case, I'll just besiege it. Didn't I already kill Alexander Alexander? There must be another one. Alright, so top priority needs to be given to killing him. Because this guy here is just a captain. And they don't have that many chariots. Our battle's never easy. Look at that, you can even see the, the Pharos of Alexandria from, well, could have seen it from when it was zoomed out before. You can even see it from here. I always thought that was really cool about Rome Total War. Alright. So if we can manage to take Memphis, then then we know for sure basically that we're gaining the upper hand against the Egyptians because we've been stuck with two regions in the in the two settlements in the region for a while. Okay, I want to send these two. I want to send all the cavalry to go and intercept. Let's see, where's where's Memphis? Is that it over? That's the the pyramids, but where is Memphis? Okay, I think it's in oh, it's in that direction over there. I want to send these cavalry to go and intercept that general and kill him. That's crucial. And as for these guys here, just um, play defensive, draw them into the center of the map and just get into a skirmish. Don't skirmish mode though. And everyone needs to guard their positions. So we've got to take note of these two units here and wipe them out. That's the whole point, reason why we've, why we've come here. Then we just need to worry about 85% of them. So if, if we're lucky, these guys here will mostly ignore us as we come through. If we're lucky. Doesn't look like that's the case. They're moving more over this way. I wonder whether I never thought about having camel chariots. Probably because they're too slow. Alright, I'm actually going to turn these guys off fire at will. Because, in my experience, they end up just doing tons of damage to my own men. Alright, charge head on into them. Because they need to die. And then, of course, we need to charge head on to these Egyptian chariots. Good, make sure you run them all down. Fucking camels.
See, this is why I don't like camels. Look how slow they are. Alright, those guys are gone. You can't even participate, you're so fucking slow. Right, let's get over here. They just, they can't keep up. Hey, Richard, why did you ever get camels? That's why. Too fucking slow. Can't keep up with my momentum. If I had an army, for, army full of camels, tactically, uh, they're not very good. In my opinion. Okay, hang on, hang on. Don't let these guys go in first. Go around the flanks, if anything. Make sure this motherfucker here dies. Got him. We don't need to wipe them out any further, but... Ah, fuck it. Alright, they're all gone. Alright, so that's phase one done. That's a success. Phase two, we've got to get back to, back to the rest of our troops. We didn't really take many casualties either. But they're not leaving, are they? They're fucking leaving! No, 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 get, get away from them. Get away from the chariots. They'll do too much damage. Let, just let them go. This is just... We'll just have to count this as a not a successful attempt. Let him go. We don't have to let the infantry go, but we're gonna let them get out of the way first. Too, too fucking slow. Careful, careful, watch out for the pikes. Okay, not going so well. Get him out of there. This is a mistake. Get him out. Don't really care about, you know, those kind of troops. I was just sort of desperate to try and get some kills. But it's not worth losing my cavalry over it. It's one of these here. Libyan mercenaries. Alright, so let's see if the camels can handle them. Unfortunately, even when charging into pikes, it's not good enough. Just made the loss of the battle. Okay, don't make, don't let these guys leave. As enemies, these men are perfect. They are running from the battle in terror. Try and kill as many of them as we can. Drawouts are a lot harder in Rome One as they, as opposed to Medieval Two, because in Medieval Two the armies generally don't don't run away; they'll stand and fight, despite what the odds are. Assaulting that would be a nightmare, so I'm not going to do it. However, I will besiege it. Stop them from retraining any of their units. Well, we can, oh, I've got an opportunity to put um, another spy in there. I think I'll recruit more spies. And we just see how we go. Okay, so you... Make our way over here because I don't know what's up that way, so we'll stick to what is known. So stay here. And if he wants to come and attack us, we've got the high ground here, so we'll see what happens. Stay over there. Do we still need. Yeah, we still need them. Actually, just get the boats. I want to make sure I've got a good navy here so that if the Brutio want to come back across, we can stop them. Lord. 
Thebes needs population growth. And what are we recruiting? Yep, that's all fine. All good, moving on to the next turn. Good. Good, I was, I was hoping they'd do this because I didn't want to assault Capua when it had that many troops in it. Even with this, it says that the balance of power was like, slightly not in our favor. Our general's better than theirs. What have they got? Okay, the, the main thing we have to worry about are their three generals. Their infantry won't count for very much, I think. Especially if we've got the high ground. If we hold a good defensive position with archers, we'll be able to thin them out considerably. There are many roads to victory. Okay. Well, we weren't given the high ground. Let's see, this is kind of a high ground, not really. We'll have to move ourselves more over here if we want to make use of it. This guy here is going to slow us down in, in phalanx formation. Okay, you guys go over there, and I want you to annoy them. What the fuck are they doing? They're on skirmish mode, so we'll see what happens over there. Man, this battle happened straight off the bat here. Okay, take him off skirmish mode. I reckon I could throw them in in melee there and they'll, they'll beat that general. Just by sheer numbers. Okay, wait, all of you guys on guard mode. time before they come at us. Fuck, they're, they're, there's no setup time on this battle. Fucking cowards. Get the general over there. This is untenable here. The, the infantry are a liability. Get out of there, cavalry. I can win this just with the cavalry, but we need to, we, we can't defend the infantry, basically. So if I want to win this battle, which I do, I need to abandon the infantry. Because it's just a liability here. They've, they've, they've given us absolutely... They've done exactly what I didn't expect them to do. They just rushed right at us. Now get the archers out of there. And these guys here, they're not holding their ground, so they just, just get them out. The thing is, in that particular fight there, they sacrificed a lot of their infantry. We didn't really get a good defensive position either. So, so much for the fucking extra command, it barely did anything for us. Alright, so what do we got here? Astarte. Okay, why don't you guys getting over here? Don't worry about that trashy infantry, they're not important. These guys to leave the battlefield. We're not we're not gonna be able to make use of them. They're bad for the battle on this one. This is why I say I always like to attack rather than defend. Defending positions, the AI just rushes you. And on this difficulty, it really fucks you up. Get out of there. Can I tell you to withdraw? Withdraw means leave the battlefield. Okay, I can win this just with the cavalry. But I need to get them back together with each other. Alright, how about you help us out here? Take them out. They're withdrawing in the wrong direction. 
thought this guy was a trash. Yeah, we've got a good general here, so they should have held a lot longer than they did. That's okay. I can, I can, I can win this so much easier just with cavalry. Just fucking. Because the problem with infantry is that they're, if if you don't like the position that you're trying to get to, because you know what I was trying to do there is is hold the high ground, but I had to rush for it, which they were rushing for it as well, and they just had more. They've got more infantry. Can't expect to beat Rome in an infantry head-on attack. Can absolutely beat them in cavalry. Pick their uh, soldiers apart a little bit at a time. So you guys got to be leaving the battlefield. Because they're just a liability, but I need them for other battles. Means you leave the battlefield. Could probably retrain them at Capua later down the track. I don't want you guys firing at will right now. Do not care in the slightest about the mercenaries. Just a liability for me in this battle. Absolutely provide me with no advantage. Actually, they're a disadvantage. Sometimes you can actually have troops that are, are, are very bad for you. Now, we need to we need to press this attack quickly. They've they've exhausted themselves in doing this, which is great for us because now we can pick apart their infantry quite easily. Right, assuming, see, that's pretty good. All right, that's the last of our infantry. That we need to get off the battlefield. I don't care about them so much. So much easier if I just use cavalry. General, units. Units, units, units. You can't honestly expect, you know, desert trash to be able to stand up to Romans. In a, in a, especially when they're also outnumbered. But we can't expect the cavalry to beat them. Romans are not particularly good at dealing with cavalry. Because they've exhausted themselves now, watch us roll right over them. What I really need to do though is kill their general. That's not the, the actual general, but that's one of them. So if we can kill him, that'd be good. Get himself surrounded. He's out of here. These guys here are exhausted, we should get a charge into them, no problem. So the balance of power is moving back towards our favour. There's their actual general, that's who we need to get to and kill. Our guys are probably getting a little bit tired as well. So stay away from them for the time being. Let them keep chasing after us, we need to go after him. He's exhausted as well. Okay, we've won the battle. With that, we've, we've certainly won. Another general over here. If we t let's see if we can take you out three for three. Did we get him? No, we, we missed him. I don't think he's going to come back. These guys got in my way. Well, we just have to make sure we kill as many of these other fuckers as possible. Actually, just stop for a moment, have a bit of a rest. I'm sure our troops will recover their fatigue much faster than them. Let's 
Basically, considering they're on the attack, they'll keep moving. This rocket was a real pain for me. Because this would have been a good position to hold onto, defensively, if it wasn't for this fucking rock. So, how many men did we lose so far? We lost a third of our troops. They've lost 50%. But they're going to lose the other 50% soon. Alright, let's go get him. So they're still exhausted, right? Yep. Gotta make sure we kill every last one of them, because everyone that gets away, we have to fight another day. How about you go and deal with him? Just need a love tap to make them break, yep. Getting ready to run away just yet. Now, a problem with what happened in this battle is that um, because we lost so much of our infantry, we need the infantry in order to assault the settlement. Luckily, we didn't lose that many archers. Because the desert trash, we don't really need them. And I can always just send them back into engine for retraining. But this is the beginning of the end for the Scipio. The amount of. the number of. Uh, troops that they're losing is, is very bad for them. Okay, now let's just roll up their line here. Okay, slow down. Make sure they don't get away. So I'm doing all this we're using, you know, really light cavalry here. If I had the heavy cavalry, it would have gone even better. Yeah, but this just solidifies how we really can't expect to fight Rome evenly with infantry. We've, we've got to use cavalry, because our strength is cavalry. Don't use our weaknesses against their strengths. But I thought we could hold a good defensive position, but we just didn't get any time to do that. They're in our face right at the start. Okay, so let's have a look at the damage here. The mercenary hoplites, good, I don't care about them. Uh, same with the mercenaries, don't care about them. The desert infantry, they're still intact. And the archers are mostly fine. Okay, we're, we're still good. So basically, the main loss here was mercenaries. I don't care about them. I think we can still progress forward onto Capua. My eyes are yours. Oh, there's still a lot of troops in there. Forty-eight percent chance of opening the gates. Yeah, our archers really didn't take very much damage. How are they still alive? Um, Sire. Orders. 
it's possible that the Senate might get in their way as well. Although I've, I've, I have very rarely see the Senate move out of Rome. Mighty General, attack! Gates open. I think we should do this now, because if we do it now, it will, um... It will get rid of the Skippy Eyes. Likely it's just a wooden palisade, so that's going to be helpful. Alright, I think we got this. We'll be fine. We just have to be careful, that's all. The great thing about this battle, though, is that they're going to be on the defense. They're going to be passive, allowing us time to, you know, wreck them. Started. Yep, well, shit the crap out of them. Maybe spit it a little bit more, but get closer. I tell you to move, it means move. Do what you're fucking told, or I'll crucify you. Just, just hold this for a moment. Because here's the thing, I don't want to waste all my ammunition on units that have got really big shields. Uh, let's see, I'm going to do this. How about we'll send these guys in first. Use their javelins, because I don't usually care for their, their, uh, their javelins at all. Getting to thin these guys out. Oh, they're firing back. Maybe I should have thought about that. That didn't really work out so well. Alright, keep firing then. Okay, now stop. We'll send in the generals to finish them off. So far though, we are winning. The cowardly enemy have lost the walls! Send your troops and take the rest of the settlement! Just equities. Oh, but one of my generals is right there. He seems to be okay. Let him get away. Oh well, it's only three of them. Let's see if we can shoot him. Archers are doing a shit job today. Hmm. I was hoping more of them would come out here, but... Because this is going to be very difficult to assault. Just because of all the buildings in the way. I'd say coming down this way would probably be the best option. I really can't rely too heavily on these guys at all. They've already proven how shit they are. Alright, let's get organized over here. Probably going to be very costly to attack this. Okay, wh what's coming up this way? Some winded principes. Alright, attack him.
waiting for them to break. Break before they shoot. There we go. More Prinky Pace coming. Probably not a good idea to engage with them again. These guys here, put them all on fire at will. Are you fucking turds, if I give you an order, it means don't go down that way. Where is he? Okay, is he, as long as he's safe. So who are we going so far? 3% to 32%, yeah, but... The hard part's going to be cracking into this hardened Roman position. Just, we can't spread out, that's the problem. That's what we really need is to be able to spread out. No room to maneuver. This definitely, the, the, like, the tactical position here favours the Romans. You just need to be careful. However, they're being very silly about it. The more tired they get, the better for us. going very well in our favor so far right. the closer we get in there with more troops of theirs the harder it's going to be okay good run them down we might be able to use the fact that these guys have, have broken to break these guys as well That actually, you have to like really push through them because they need to be they need to feel completely overwhelmed, which means we're going to take casualties. Mm, can't honestly that, that, that say that worked out well for us there. But you know, these guys did use up all their ammo, so what else are we going to use them for? Anyway, it's a big good opportunity to get them more experience for next time. Okay, good. I'd say that was a bit of a trade-off, which we can afford to do. Alright, get back over here. Opposite direction of where I wanted you to go. Okay, but you're the most important out of a lot of them because I need your experience to transfer into them. Right, I want you guys to hold your position. It's okay if they need to get into melee a little bit. It's just it's too tight for us to, to skirmish. You should keep shooting. Done pretty well so far. 63% of them. We've still got more than half our time remaining. But the problem is this narrow street here. 
Like, what I really need is, like, a lot of spearmen or something like that. I mean, I, I just don't... don't have any. If I sent all these guys just charging in there, I don't think it'll, it'll do a very good job. Alright, you come through here. We've got to keep skirmishing. We keep thinning them out a little bit more. So I've got to lure this guy back here so we can try and kill him. Come on, run back, run back. Stop fucking around. And you guys need to shoot him. Okay, this is the, the Roman leader. I don't want to send my general in. Because if he dies, we lose. I'm happy to sacrifice these two to ensure victory here. Alright, we've got him. Okay, I need you to push push forward a little bit. Because when he routes, I want you to be able to run him down. That's a slaughter. Very nice. Well, that's guaranteed our victory then. You guys need to stop shooting. So the more of these guys we get, the better. But there's still two other generals, but you know, we, we killed the actual commander of the battle. Now we're doing more of these guys down this way. Okay, turn around and just fight them. As long as we're not fighting them in the town square, because that's why they have uh, unlimited morale. Two generals down. Okay, there's no heavy infantry left. Alright, we can just go all out attack now. We got this. Make sure that you're close by to make sure our guys don't run. Might end up losing a battalion of two of Numidian cavalry, but I don't really care that much. Because I want to replace them with uh, long shield cavalry. They're, they're getting stuck out here, that's the problem. There's no point trying to pull him out. It's just not going to work. He'll just end up breaking. Actually, the majority of their troops aren't even there yet. So let's, let's pull them out. Same with you. I really need to pull this one out. With you, if we can. Although I think that the unit is pretty much killed. Shit. You're gonna have to get in there now. Okay, good. We got rid of the other general. That's great. I'm pretty sure all of them are gonna stay intact. Yeah, I'd say we're okay. So that all worked out quite nicely there. Victory is ours, mighty one. We so the house of Scipio is destroyed. Now. Let's see here. Yeah, none of the units got wiped out. Good. And everything can be retrained here. So we can go right back up to full strength. Which would be good because the, the Romans are here. Um, as for these guys, what we need to do, just in case the Senate, now I've never seen the Senate do this, but that's not to say that they won't do it. Put that block there, just to make sure that they, they don't besiege the Senate at this turn, because obviously we need some, need to fix up some, some, some things. 
All right, um, I'm gonna need some shrines. So what do we need? More of more desert infantry. I mean, they're not very good. That's the problem. I sort of, at least with some experience. I think we're better off getting the long shield cavalry. Like they they're much better. Okay, what I want to do is just retrain this guy here, but of course do it at the end of the turn to make sure we um maintain uh experience. I know some people have said that you can you can do it right now and it, it doesn't um doesn't get rid of experience. I just I just know in other campaigns that I've like pressed retrain then and the next turn, they've lost their experience. Okay, now I didn't want to actually assault this because Numidians are shit at dealing with walls. Prepare for battle. The siege is broken. Captain Philippos. He's in my way. Um, let me just think. What I want to do? I want to disband this unit here. What I'd like to do, let's reform this army a little bit. Mighty General! Mighty General! Leaving the army! March! Sire! My liege! Then I want you to make the attack on him so that we spam another general. Even now, fear works its magic into our force! Basically, this is me just saying I want to promote a, a new general here. So, let's put these camels to the test. Can, 93 camels, which are supposed to be good against um, horses, can they actually beat, like, light, light cavalry? Let's have a look at their stats as well. Let's put these camels to the test. So, their good morale, attack 9, defense 10, up against 7 and 11. They scare horses. Let's just see how these 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 camels do. I personally don't think they'll win, but you know, let's see what happens. Doesn't matter if the general dies or not. We we'll still end up possibly getting a um thing. Well, the vets have done pretty well, but then again, we did get the charge on them. Yeah, they they won it. Drive them from the battlefield. I actually did a pretty good job. I still don't like camels. Like I said, the main reason I don't like camels is because they're slow. They're very slow compared to horses. Let's hope the gates open. 40% chance of opening the gate. Now this guy here, let's put him out of the city and then back in because 100% chance. See if he gets a level up. Yep, 46%. So flip a coin on this. And the gate's open. Good. So what's in here? A lot of chariots. Okay, now before I forget... It's time to turn off the, the battle timer. It just, it just annoys me. That's all. Attack! A lot of chariots there. Okay, let's do this. The smell was. Than any camel is the enemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's get the archers up here and just start shooting.
Alright, so what's waiting on the sides here? We got chariots. Those would be good if we could kill them. Okay, let's bring these guys up. Along with my generals. As for these guys, I, I rarely ever even make use of javelin men anymore. It's sort of why I'm trying to phase them out. I just don't think they're very good. Missiles don't do very much damage, and they're, they don't have much ammo, and they don't have much range. And of course they're shit in melee, so they're just all around trashy. I'm much more of a fan of archers. Your men have taken the walls! Now the way to your victory is clear! Alright, so how are we going to go about this? I think we should go down this way here because it seems wider. So it's going to start coming inside as well. We got chariots incoming. right there. Let's see if we can get our archers to shoot them a bit. So far so good. They're not doing a whole lot of damage to us. Oh, we got incoming over here now as well. Oh, I couldn't see that. Luckily my general is there. It's just desert cavalry, so they should be able to handle it. No, oh, now we're talking. Let me go. Chariots are on the way back, but they're not going to do much. Okay, they're all dead. Okay, now... Okay, I need these guys all on guard mode. Move up to here. So what we want to be doing is shooting at their uh, their chariots. You're gonna need to be close by to make sure our guys don't break. Got a little shield wall here is working pretty well because they've got chariot archers of their own. That's okay, we just need to make do. Shoot that chariot general. Just fucking bring these guys in as well.
Uh, let's see here. So, kill two thirds of them. Just, we're better off shooting the uh, chariot general than getting into melee with it, I think. More of them into range, that's good for us. Egyptian chariot archers and Nubian cavalry. I think now we can send in our cavalry because they've they've had a good chance to rest and if the general is right behind them they shouldn't break. Because these are just chariot archers they're not going to be as good in melee. Well, this guy here is going to get in trouble I think. Get in here, get in. Make sure they're rallied. That unit might get disbanded, but it's not the end of the world. I mean, these guys are trash. It's what do you expect out of them? Not as, not as bad as Eastern infantry, though. So like, I guess they're sort of mid-grade trash. Right, I'll send you into help against the Nubian cavalry. For some reason, my infantry are having a hard time with them. Also, since they were some of the first to die, though, they should be. They should actually get some recovery, so they might not get wiped out. It's a bit risky here. So it's not the actual melee attack of these guys that I'm concerned about, but the sights. I just ride right past the general and kill him. Oh wait, uh, not the general. Yeah, yeah, my general that is. I would have killed theirs. Alright, so let's have a look here. What? What happened to these archers? I didn't see that happen. It must have been when I wasn't looking. But they got fucking wiped at the fuck out. When did that happen? I just didn't see it happen. Oh well, um... Everyone else is intact. That's a shame, because um, those archers had a lot of experience. Hopefully I can replace them here. Ah, damn. Uh, but that being said, we do have access to Long Shield Cavalry. We need to find a way to get back to um, here. Unfortunately, I can't retrain any of my infantry. I can I can do so at Memphis because we'll just take this opportunity to recruit some long shield cavalry. So, sort of preparing a second stack here because they'll be moving into the east. So how many settlements do we have now? 16. 
Still a long way to go to victory. Alright, what are we doing now? I guess we'll just do some construction, then move on to the next turn. Gotta maintain public order there. Okay, now we just do some retraining and then we're moving on to the next turn. Hang on, what about over here? This is still recruiting the long shield. Oh, that's right, these guys here need to go home. Ready to sail. My My Let's sail. Disembark. Yes, mighty lord. My leech. Move out. Sire. Can't merge any of those. Okay, so just retrain this guy here because we want to spread his in, 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 um, experience over to them. Sire. Mighty General. Okay, now what can be retrained over here? They can, but it's not for extra units, it's just for for weapon upgrade because there's a blacksmith here. Alright, moving on. Oh good, he showed up here. That's good. Plague in Macedonia. Well, that doesn't concern me. Good, Carthage and Gaul at each other's throats. Hopefully Gaul wins and just gets rid of the Carthaginians for me. Good, we got plenty of garrison in there now. Good, they maintain public order. So over here, we want to spread this experience in. Good, that's what we want to be seeing. Make these guys better. Good, that'll be good. Okay, what next? Um, yeah, keep recruiting more of... Actually, I could use another archer. Six archers seems to work well for us. Uh, assaulting Rome is not going to be easy. Look at all those generals. So for that, you know, if we're going to go and fight them out in the field, we need cavalry, not archers. So we've got a bit of a fleet here, but it's still not enough. Because they're just by reams. Need better ships than that, but you know, we don't have access to them just yet. And over here, getting back to Memphis. Actually, that could be possible now because we've got another opportunity for a draw out. Although, in the past, it hasn't really worked out that well for us. It might be best if we just send the cavalry this time. Problem is, they're chariots. Like, it's, it's okay to go against the Romans that way, but against the Egyptians, the, the chariots do too much damage to cavalry. Looks like these guys want to head back over here to try and recapture Siwa. I serve your will. None shall see me. Hmm. Who's the blizzard, great lord? Okay, well let's get a spy over there, so at least we know what we're up against. If there's not that many chariots, maybe I can actually deal with it. 
So let's get a few chariots. They got none. They've got none. But these are the Nubian spearmen, so also cavalry is not very good at dealing with them either. So we need to use our infantry. Specifically our archers. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave behind the desert infantry because they're diminished and I want to retrain them. And if they get completely destroyed here, well, it's not a big deal, but... Um, oh no, I feel like if I bring the whole army, these guys are just going to run away anyway. Leave behind the um, the desert infantry. Got a little of the population there to make sure the public order stays under control. Although, if we manage to capture this, that will get rid of a lot of the, it will get rid of all of the culture penalty, giving us forty five percent extra public order. So that'll certainly help. So yeah, because we don't have any melee infantry, we need to make sure we, we maintain skirmish. So maintain a distance from them. Today is a day for brave deeds. If we're gonna sacrifice anyone, sacrifice the Numidian javelin men. So that's Memphis right there, so the garrison reinforcements will be coming from there. I'm going to send you over there to harass them to begin with, and you guys just stay behind the line here. I'm going to just play things by ear. The enemy have proved their cowardice. They have reinforcements. As if numbers matter. Just kill a handful of them. I mean, don't ever rely too heavily on the Jap ones, but if we can thin them out a little bit, it helps. Draw them over here and I'll have my cavalry run them down. Two loads of desert axemen. Okay, I'll send these guys in to charge at them. But we've got to be careful though, because if we um, increase the bounce of power too much in our favor, the enemy will just run away. Again. Of course, I'd rather take Memphis without having to assault the settlement because of those stone walls. Get them locked in there. Get them in the rear. Okay, get back in formation here. Now, we're going to move forward. Now that we've, we've dealt with, um, you know, a small portion of their army, let's go deal with, with, the, with the main portion up here.
Okay, what I might do is send the cavalry over here to go charge at the Egyptian... Oh, no, 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 no. They're not missile cavalry, so if we could shoot them, that would be much more preferable. If we're going to charge into them, wait until they... Char oh, shit. Wait until they charge into our, um... Our javelin men. Stay over this side, because they're, they're the most dangerous. Anything on this side here is not really a huge concern. Much prefer it if you could shoot them. They're staying out of range. But that being said, if they were to run away with all the cavalry and we just killed off all the infantry, we could probably still win and, and get the draw out done. Because there, there's so many infantry. I guess keep trying to thin them out. The problem here though is that um, they might, um, if they turn and run, my cavalry is not really capable of, uh, of killing them. Because, yeah, there they go, they're running away now. Right, we'll try and get the Desert Axemen at the very least. We're not going to be getting Memphis. But still, we're doing a lot of damage to them at very little cost to us. Get over here. Charge with getting them. See if we can wipe their large army out by, you know, taking out their, all their infantry. So we've so far killed 48% of them, that's not too bad. And of course the camels, they're too slow to pursue. Double back over here. Don't actually attack them, I just want them to. Is that the red line right there? Oh, okay, you'll never get there in time. As enemies, these men are perfect. They are running from the battle in terror. So, how'd we go? 64% is not bad considering we, we took what, 0% casualties? 4%. Just even get one shot in there. Handful of them killed, that's about it. None of the armies have been killed. Victory is ours, mighty one. Again, assaulting that with the walls is going to be a nightmare. Mighty general. We can bring in reinforcements from, from there. I guess we can do it. We've got mercenaries here. No. Oh, there's a horse... Ah, oh, well, camel archers. I'll take that. Alright, fuck it. Let's do this. Worst case scenario is... I don't think we'd lose the battle. we just end up taking a lot of casualties. We don't want to use the spies to open the gates because the towers end up doing too much damage. Because they don't need to be manned. If he continues to make his way down here, what's he got? Alright, I'm going to recruit one of these just to help defend against it. I just want the zombie to be just pure cavalry. So I'm sending them into Iberia where it doesn't they don't really have any pikemen or anything like that, so we don't need to worry about that at all. Some of the goals, because I expect we'll eventually go to war with the ghouls. So over here, what are we getting? 
Just that. Any re yeah, there's some retraining that needs to be done. Alright, good. Moving on. those generals go? There's people that came of age, where are they? <coughs> Alright, now, where's my spy? Let's have a look at what the, the Romans the Senate has. I reckon they've got two full stacks. No, a stack and a little bit. That's doable. A lot of cavalry there, though. Then again, we've got a lot of cavalry. And I've done more with less before. But I've also had to put in a lot of effort when doing it. Still, you're a really good commander. We've got a lot of heavy cavalry here. These guys can do a good job. Let's do it. Let's let's take on the Senate. So I'm going to bring everyone. Nobody gets left behind. Now this time, when fighting the Romans, because we'll be on the attack, they'll be a little bit defensive, but keep these guys back, because I don't want them getting attacked early on. We don't have as many desert infantry this time either. Just to maintain public order, but also... Yeah, you come over here. There's slingers here, but... I don't know. I think archers are better. Let them blockade the port. Doesn't bother me. Okay, so that's our full stack. It's not quite as many in numbers as theirs, but we've got loads of cavalry. If we can manage to kill their general, this guy here, we're guaranteed to win. Odds are against us, but that's okay. Let's do this. Let me just double check. Any archers in this? There's no Roman archers, meaning that the uh, the Numidian cavalry are free to harass them right at the start. And also, because the, the uh, bounce of power is in their favour, I think they'll be a little bit more passive. They don't feel the need to sort of get off their defensive positions. Alright, so the bulk of the army backs off just for the time being. Cavalry up front. Gonna be up to them to, to begin with. Need them to get some early kills. Harass them. Good. Got plenty of distance if they want to come up this way. So they're just reserves. We'll move them up all in due time. First things first though. I need to be taking out their cavalry. That's the actual general there. If we can kill him, the rest of this will be easy. We'll be able to roll over them with ease. Also, the more we make them run around, the more tired they get, the better. Ninja, how come you don't use skirmish mode? Yeah. You know, I wouldn't. I would be constantly doing saying that in that voice if people didn't keep posting those comments. I've shown so many times how stupid skirmish mode is. You don't need it. The 
I should tell Wolf. He's okay, but he never uses skirmish mode, so I'm better than him. Yeah. Whatever you reckon. Alright, so just keep harassing their cavalry. So we got Hastati over here. Don't worry about them. Okay, we've almost used all of our ammo up. That's okay. Okay, let's begin phase two. Phase two is we bring the the cavalry around over here. The other, the other heavy cavalry. Well, actually, they're considered light cavalry. But they're to come over here and hit them in the flank because we're going to try and lock him in place and these guys will, will charge in as well. Okay, we've used up all of our javelins now and they're a little bit warmed up. So they're taking a defensive position, but the more we can make them run around, the more tired they get, the easier it will be to break them. So you want them to um, to put him in a weak position. So we'll just move around them in the meantime. So I want you to stay there. Try and surround these fuckers here. The rest of them are just spotting my infantry. Start making your way down. We could kill him. Okay, they've put him away. They don't know what to do with him now. This guy here is not my concern, we're just slowly moving around. He's my target right there. That's it. Draw them out. Make some nice big gaps happen out here. Ah, the motherfucker's going over there. Oh well, they've left this guy here completely undefended. So let's charge in on him. I'm sure he's going to be at the very least tired. I doubt he's gonna last too long and come. Yep, he broke. A few casualties, nothing major. We need to get him out of the way. Alright, make a beeline straight for the Roman general now. He's out in the open. Got a clear shot at him. And you guys charge in here at the Prinker pace because I want you to be flanking. Flanking there, so you need to get through it. That's the guy there we need to kill. Come on, break them, hurry up. Spirits lifted by General's encouragement. Come on, come on, come on. You need to kill him. So that's two of their generals dead. That's good, none of ours yet. It doesn't really matter if he gets away, but if we can catch him that would be good. Okay. My guys could probably use a little bit of a rest now, but we did what we wanted to do. We killed their general. Servius Maxentius. They don't want to engage with us. Now the balance of power has been, been evened up, but without their general and the more tired they get, the more fucked it's going to be for them. It's going to be easy for us to, to break them. Let's 
Mexico here does not want to engage with us. Okay, that's fine. Then we'll engage with these guys here, but let them get exhausted first. Now, while that's going on, let's start to bring in our guys here so they can start shooting their front line. And if they engage with our front line, then we'll uh, charge into them. for those villages. Got to keep the guys together because um, obviously the more troops that we have, the more of a morale penalty that we inflict on the enemy. And also the greater our, our morale will be. They won't break so easily. Okay, I've got to help and get over to the Sestati. Don't worry about them. So the Sestati are ripping through my desert infantry, but they just need to hold the line for the time being. We'll be, be there to help them in a moment. Kill this general. Maybe we had already killed him. Come on, come on, go charge in here. God, what a meat grinder. My guys got wrecked on that charge, but that's okay, so did they. God, we gotta get this Roman general. He's, he's Tearing up my my arches. So he broke. Make sure you kill him if you can. Right, our guys are getting killed over here. We need to we need to hope and help them. They're not that important that they can be replaced. I mean, they've already proven against Romans, they just they don't stand up to them very well. She's overwhelming numbers here. To try and break them. Archers, you need to be shooting at units that are not close to our cavalry. So how are we going so far? Well, the balance of power is in our favour. We've lost 26%, but it's all just, like, trash. And we've killed half their army. It doesn't help that my guys are exhausted. Go after them, missing units. Actually, you guys need to shoot that uh, Roman general. I don't want him getting in, getting in contact with you again. Okay, we hit them. That'll weaken everything in the area because they'll be terrified because these villages are running. Brace if you can. Doesn't really do much. Good, another one dead. So I think we killed four out of five of their generals. As enemies, these men are perfect. They are running from the battle in terror. Okay, I don't need these archers to shoot anymore. So that went pretty well. Of course, these guys here got wrecked, but my cavalry's just fine. We can send them back to Camp War to get retrained. Don't know about them though. I just. Recruit new ones.
So here we go. If we didn't wipe them all out, they have 3% remaining. Because one of their generals got away. If we had killed him, the whole army would have been wiped out. But it's, you know, 3%, big deal. So yeah, one of the um, one of those guys got wiped out, but they weren't particularly useful in the battle anyway. Well, they, they held the, uh, they protected the archers for a little while. Alright, so I want to go back there and retrain the cavalry. Before we, um, actually let me just see if I can merge a few of these guys. Send these two back for retraining. These two. And you back for retraining. Then these guys here could besiege the settlement. And they'll they'll come back next turn to uh, to reinforce. Oh wait, what the fuck? I didn't oh I didn't need to send that one back. 78 is fine. So the 79 mercenaries. I think I'll hire them just so that the enemy don't get them. And since we're at an hour and a half, we'll end the episode here. So guys, like and subscribe. Part 5, I think, is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.